Lucy's Legacy, The Quest for Human Origins, a groundbreaking real-life story told by the renowned paleoanthropologist Dr. Donald Johansson himself. This book is the additional part of a series of Dr. Johansson's in which he explains how his discovery has had a long-lasting impact on how exactly we as humans shall interpret our past and continue to answer questions about how Homo sapiens have evolved, where we've originated from, and what remains a mystery to mankind. Never in my wildest fantasies did I imagine that I would discover a fossil as earth-shaking as Lucy. As said on page 3 of his novel, Dr. Johansson made this discovery completely unexpectedly, which is why he wrote this story. His story tells of his surprising journey and what became of his life and further discoveries after the uncovering of Lucy. Lucy was proven so significant because of her connection to our origins. It was 1974 on an unpresuming Sunday in Hadar, Ethiopia, for Johansson and his team of both paleoanthropologists and osteologists. While inspecting bones of dead animals, an elbow catches his eye. That piece of hominid ulna dated back 3.2 million years ago, and that was Lucy, otherwise known as Dinkanesh, meaning you are marvelous in Amarak, in Ethiopian language. The remains consisted of several hundred pieces of bone fossils, representing 40% of a female skeleton of the hominid species Australopithecus afarensis. This means that she was an extinct hominid that lived between 3.9 and 2.9 million years ago. This was also special because scientists were able to determine she had unique features like small canine-looking teeth and she could walk in a bipedal manner, meaning upright on two legs. Today, Johansson is most well known for his discovery of Lucy and has studied many other species of animals as well. Lucy can be marveled over in the National Museum of Ethiopia in Addis Ababa, it is especially constructed safe. In reading this story, I was able to further my knowledge on many topics, including the study of fossil hominids, known as paleoanthropology, as well as the study of bone structure and functions of skeletal structures, known as osteology. There were details brought about concerning geology, and like fossils, and disconformities as well. And finally, I could take away new facts about how this process came to be, concerning excavating, fossil dating, and cataloging in order to discover more about our descendants and other species. During my reading, I was able to find my mind trailing back to some of the topics we learned and discussed about in class. The most obvious connection I made was to the article activity we did last marking period about Utsi the Iceman. The topics connect in that from each hominid discovery, we were able to study and date back the remains. Though Utsi lived much more recently than Lucy, they both proved to be different species of man that we could study for clues relating to how our bodies differed and, mu and more specific details like their environment and how it could have affected their growth. Another connection that was able to be made was our studies of times and eras. This allowed me to think about how her life may have been. And finally, his area of expertise allowed me to link fossils with our study of geology, rocks, layers, and fossils. Making these connections definitely raised questions in my mind concerning what researchers were unable to discover after all of their investigating. As Dr. Johansson continued to reveal stories in the novel of later excavations, it especially stood out to me that Ethiopia tends to be rich in fossilized bones, which brought to question, why Ethiopia? Additional questions, which may never be answered, included where did humans really originate, and how have they grown this way? I originally chose this book because I have always struggled in wrapping my head around the truths of our past and how we as humans have originated. We have grown up in science class with teachers preaching the theory of evolution, but at the end of the day, there are so many beliefs and possibilities. So what do you choose? How do you make that decision for yourself? I suppose this means I searched for clarity in this story. However, I don't completely believe I received that. I was relatively disappointed by the amount of actual discussion there was about the science behind Lucy, but I definitely enjoyed reading about her great effect on how we can use her to perceive our past and where we may have come from. Though it was not entirely what I expected to read, I would still recommend it to anyone who may potentially be interested in paleoanthropology or osteology in their futures. Other people who may enjoy this novel would be those who enjoyed the geology unit, learning about evolution, and or the history of our existence. Dreams. Aspirations. Everyone has a fantasy that they know in their hearts could never exist in real time. But for Donald Johansson, his came true more than he could have ever imagined, and the world will forever learn from his discovery that day 44 years ago.